beautiful. It's delicious. Oh, look at that. Lake the Seine. The Seine. Not bad driving roads at all, then. Yeah, we've been about four miles without going through a tunnel as well, which seems to be for today the very first thing. Because, yeah, everywhere seems to be. Must have gone through nine, ten tunnels on the way. Yeah. yeah. In an hour and a bit. One of them has got to have been the longest one in Switzerland, surely. It went on forever, oh, didn't it? Just pulled up for a little cup of coffee and a pretzel. This is Lake Wallensee, you can see, um, towards the Liechtenstein side of Switzerland. We are actually only an half hour drive from Liechtenstein as we speak now, so the campsite I've here marked is about a 10 minute drive from here in that direction towards the mountains and the bottom end of the lake. There's a few mixed reviews on Park for Night for it, so we'll go and maybe see what we think about it. There is a few more in the area, but if not, we'll head on to Liechtenstein or something like that and maybe stay there. So. We haven't really made any set plans, we're just going to get on with it and see where we end up. It's like there's a storm brewing. Just making a quick getaway from the little village where we've had a pan. Just as you can see behind us, the mountains are starting to sort of very stormy there is rain forecast for the rest of the evening tonight as well so we're just trying to get back to the campsite just in time to avoid this lot this is for one person maybe my breakfast too maybe here mm -hmm. i don't like sausages though Morning, we've just arrived at the Rhine Falls car park, the border of Switzerland and Germany. So we're going to go and see what is known as Europe's largest waterfalls today. Awesome. Yes, they are. So yes, yeah, oh. so Lee don't know what to expect. I came years and years ago with school when are we, when are, are we, when are, where are we, we lad? When I was a boy. Yeah, uh, yeah, and we're going to, we're going to go there. Apparently it is impressive. It's about a 10 minute walk from where we are currently to the actual falls. So we're going to see what they have to offer. But yeah, we're, um, about half past about half past ten I think, something like that in the morning. There's hardly anybody here at the moment, so yeah, we're looking forward to this. There's some pay stations just behind us, which when you go into the car park they have a barrier. and um, you press the ticket, you press the button, it validates and gives you a ticket, let you know what time you've come in. And then as you're going back to the car park, you just go to the machines over there and pay your fee. It starts off at five Swiss francs for the first hour and then it's two further francs for every hour after that so probably looking at about nine ten francs possibly today so it'd be about nine pound in english but it's like a it's just what it is isn't it it's part and parcel of it when you're coming here we're going to see these nice areas so it is what it is we came on holiday we brought the money so we're expecting to see it so yeah i can hear the falls from here um i think leah's going to be it is. I think Leah's going to be um, strangely impressed by these today. I don't like researching, but like, I like to be surprised. Yeah, she likes to be surprised. She's very childlike, aren't you? Even not, when we was at um, Trummelback Falls the day before yesterday, when we came up to the entrance and there was photos showing you what was on view, she closed her eyes walking past the signs because she didn't want to spoil it. So <laughs> that's kind of where we are. But I can definitely hear them now. So I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to record once it comes into view. Heading in the right direction to Rhine Fall now. As you can see, it's a nice disabled friendly path as well. I think they have opened it up so there is like access for disabled people to get there as well, which is a good thing because uh, it's, it's going to definitely be a good view. Leah is really going to be surprised by this, I honestly think so. Hi, hello. The two adults, please. Just heading in now to the entrance to the Rhine Fall. See there, the wine fall entrance there, coming through this little arch. So this little area now, taking us just through the little town to the village. There's a restaurant there which isn't yet open, but we may end up uh, having something to eat and drinking there later on. That there is the entrance towards the falls. So the tickets we got earlier at the reception was five Swiss francs each. And now we're just coming up to a ticket machine where Leah's just going to go through now and hopefully get through with no issues. 
There we go. So I have my tickets. So we're just coming towards the Rhine now where the Rhine Falls are just appearing in front of us. So you're just down there now. Can't really see them. You see, probably down there is the like upper part of Rhine Falls. Down there is the lower part. Where that lady stood there on the island is where you can get the boat trip to and go and visit it and take pictures of actually in the centre of the falls. Uh, but the main fall is like in this area down here, which will go down to the viewing platform. Over there is Germany. We're currently in Switzerland. That's the River Rhine in front of us, one of the little boat trips. Over there is the German side, that is the northern side. I think that's where we went when we were to school, because I remember getting the boat over there. But they do various different ones, but yeah, you can see how wide the Rhine is. You can see all the little view points down there as well. So we're edging our way down to the base of the falls now. I think reading the signs, it said it's 150 meters wide by 28 meters drop, something like that. So yeah, the largest in waterfall, very powerful at the moment, which I imagine is all the like the melt water from the Alps. Thank you. So we're going on our little Rhine Falls boat trip. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling, Lee? I'm excited. excited. <laughs> yeah, you can already feel the choppiness already from here, from the, the thingy there. What we're doing is we're doing a 30 minute boat trip. We're going to cross over to there and we then we catch our green boat from over that area and go around the German border. And then we come back alongside, go right in front of the falls where that blue boat is. We're just doing a a quick little boat trip across to the building you can see behind us over there. It's only a three minute ride across the River Rhine. Just getting some views of the falls behind us now. All this one is, is basically a crossing to get us to the other side so that we can get our green boat, which is then our 30 minute round trip. It's a total of 10 francs per person. And the only thing it doesn't include, what the more expensive trip is, is it doesn't stop off at the island in front of us for a view. As you can see, maybe just up there, there's like a, an island in the centre where the boats stop off and leave you up there for 20 minutes for views and things like that. But we're just going to do what the other boats are doing and just going to come into the front of the falls and then go towards, let's say, Germany and the German border. But this is probably the best place to see the Rams fall from in actuality because over there where the viewing platforms are, it's just you're only on the edge of it, whereas this was starting to get the full, the full like views. You can actually feel the choppiness of the water already, really. But it's amazing, really. There's only me and Leah on the boat, as you can see. So this is perfect. It's like our own perfect little Rhine River cruise. Absolutely fantastic. I think this crossing alone is three francs if you get it individually. So it's basically cost us four, four francs for our half a minute round trip between us. So yeah, can't fault that. So yeah, we just crossed the river now. We're at the, um, the other side of the Rhine, Rhine Falls where there is a cafe, toilets and things like that. So once we've done our actual boat trip, we're going to go there and get a coffee, maybe some food. So this platform here, three, is where we're getting hours from in about 20 minutes time. This is a round ticket one. You can see all the different boat trips run from here. Each. For a week up. Just 
just waiting for boat trip number two. This is the round trip, the 30 minute round trip. It's due to set off in about three or four minutes. So uh, we're going to just see what that is. It takes us to the border of Germany, I believe. Uh, there's about a dozen people on it. It's not so bad at all, really, but it's quite a busy area, to be honest. It's been been nice daily. We're surprised, I think, by the size of the Grand Falls. I knew she would be because she says she's not actually seen or really heard a lot about it. So, as I mentioned previously, I've been with school and probably didn't appreciate it then, but now I'm a bit older, I think I'm starting to sort of see the beauty a bit more in these places. So, yeah, it's been really enjoyable to have sort of relive that as well. So I could give somebody my passport or get stopped or get told that like whatever hello hello in it's a general. Schengen zone innit? You don't need for you, you just drive through now. Like uh, you'd be lucky to get stopped. So yeah, we're in, now officially in Germany. We're in bloody Germany! Republic of Deutschland. <laughs> Look D. I don't know if that means Deutschland, but it does. I think we've brought the Swiss storms into Germany with us. <laughs> Like that is dark in it. That bad boy's gonna burst. The rain came. Everywhere you go, I always take the weather with you. <laughs> Marvelous. Good, yeah. We're nearly near the castle place now, aren't we? We are. Nine minutes away. So yeah, hopefully we should be able to get to the castle. We got diverted a bit in that rainstorm, so that took a little bit longer. So we're down some little narrow country lanes, but we've done it. We're still here in one piece. So we're probably going to stay in this area tonight now. It's 20 past two at the moment. So we're probably going to go park up somewhere, see the castle. It's a campsite and there's also a Stellplatz, which is essentially the same as French airs, but the German version. So we'll just see where we end up today. But I think the town we're in is Sigmaringen. Sigmaringen, Sigmaringen, yeah. It's got a few beat and bars and stuff like that, so maybe let's go for a beer or two. Biggest, biggest supermarket ever, innit? It's just crackers. Yeah. 
this was easier said than done. I've well, just been to the local supermarket slash pharmacy slash kebab shop slash bakery slash meat shop. Everything you can think of is there. We've been wandering around all day. We've had out to it, so I said, right, we'll get ourselves a pizza. Leah Margarita, Madonna meat. Looks like that, that's for me.